Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by A.G. Hines Company. If you're going to start a do-it-yourself project or a large-scale building job for that matter, I keep telling you to start it at A.G. Hines Company. Well, I'm not the only one who believes that. This week, A.G. Hines Company was awarded Supplier of the Year at the Associated General Contractors Awards Banquet, and I know you all keep track of that. But at the Associated General Contractors Award Banquet, the Associated General Contractor said, A.G. Hines Company is the best. Folks, do your project right. Do it with A.G. Hines Company. aghines.com to learn more. All right, take a look at this. Got to have offense, folks. Nine of the last ten national champions have ranked in the top 25 in both offensive and defensive efficiency, according to Ken Pomeroy's numbers. 20 of the last 40 Final Four teams, so half of the last 40 Final Four teams, have all ranked in the top 25 in both offense and defense. Nine of the last 10 national champions have ranked in the top 10 in offensive efficiency. And if you're thinking, well, what about defense? Only five have ranked in the top 10 in defensive efficiency. Offense has replaced defense in this era. We'll see if that trick sticks around. But for the last 10 years, that's kind of been the, the calling card. And right now, Tennessee finally has both. Rick Barnes' last five teams to rank top 25 in offensive and defensive efficiency. You see them right there. Tennessee had one other offense, a little better than this one, actually, the 2018 season with uh, Admiral Schofield, Grant Williams, that senior year. But they didn't have the defense that year. You are number 20 in offensive efficiency. You're number two in defensive efficiency. He hasn't had a team at Tennessee that balanced. At Texas, he had four of them. Round two, Elite Eight, Sweet 16, round two. All right, so we got two things converging here, and I want to introduce Vince Ferrara, who's in with us now. Vince, I'm going to start with you in this segment. Okay. you got two things here. One, the NCAA tournament stats show that if you are balanced, you've got a real good shot at making a run. Then you've got Rick Barnes' tournament history. Hall of Fame coach, done a great job at Tennessee. The tournament history is what it is. Do you feel better about Tennessee's chances in this year's tournament because they are balanced on the offense and the defense, or do you still sit there and say, yeah, but I've seen the Rick Barnes tournament performance before. Where are you? I feel better about it. Dalton Connect is a big reason for that. What did they need to do? They needed to address their offense. What was the question coming into the season? Would Rick Barnes allow these offensive players to play up to their ability? Well, the answer is no, because he's, let, he's gotten them even better. I mean, the, the mindset, uh, the buy-in from Connect. He, he is now b even better on the offensive end. I hear all these people talking about, whoa, how'd you get how'd that guy, you know, get out of northern Colorado, go to northern Colorado. Well, he's an even better player. He's developed since he's been at the University of Tennessee. You can't look at this Tennessee team the same. Not only do they have Dalton Connect, but they, they get out in transition. They take those opportunities, which they failed to do when we've heard they were going to do it in years past. They're willing to drive much more and be able to score at the rim, and they have low post scoring. But it starts with Dalton Connect. That's a lot that's very different this team. Okay, so I'll give you, uh, you guys the same question. I'll ask it a little different way. Um, which ways on you, if you got the scales here, you're top 25 in offensive and defense. you got Rick Barnes' tournament history. Which one moves you more, Mark Pankratz? Um, you know, I think it's Barnes' tournament history. Um, and partly that's because this is becoming a more offensive-minded uh, game, sport. sport. <clears throat> and, and, and Barnes is always going to be a defensive guy. So when push comes to shove and, and, and tensions get high, you're, you're naturally going to go to your human instincts, and which is defense for Barnes. And so uh, I, I would put Barnes' history – uh, as a bigger indicator. Okay, we've got it split. 1-1. Mm. One, one. That was Jimmy. for TV purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Jimmy, you're the tiebreaker. I'm going to go with um, I, I like the idea they're top 20 in offense and defense. And I, so, I as think, usual, Mark Pankratz is Mr. Negative. <laughs> yeah, and I've got orange-colored glasses, as usual. <laughs> um, and one reason I say that, I, I think they have a lot of the ingredients to be a Final Four caliber team. You've got an elite scorer who can score at all three levels. Mm -hmm. I, has Barnes had that at Tennessee? All three levels? A guy? No. I, I, don't, I don't think so. You've got Adu, and you've got Ziggler. You've got a good, in, good center. You've got a really good point guard. You've got defense and decent depth. I think all of those things contribute to this team being the most well-rounded he's had. So I like their ability to make a longer run. 
Okay. I, I just use, I, I oh. use history a lot, right? So yeah. you look yeah. at like we've we've had <clears throat> orange teams that have gotten injured. You know, you've talked about it a bunch at times. Yeah. Um, we're looking they at play a, a lot of minutes. We're These looking at a, a five to six game window with Connect. He did have some games earlier in the year, but he was in playing in a mid major before. You know, you look at a track record of a coach. Mm-hmm. He's won a ton of games. I'm not mm-hmm. taking anything away no. from him. I just look at if I had to, if I had some trends on either side. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean more on historic Barnes performances than what we've seen in a you know 20 games so far. Vince, anything else? Yeah, you can't ignore that history whatsoever. I, I think, you know, just like always, it comes down to matchups as well. Oh, sure. So yeah. um, yeah. maybe maybe Connect is able to make an even bigger impact, or maybe this guy, as perhaps the best player in college basketball, can overcome any of the history, any of the, the siding towards the defense in certain moments. Rick Barnes has adjusted this year, and I think yeah. that was a question for the fans yeah, going you, in. You didn't yeah. say one of the best players in college basketball. You said the best player in college I, basketball. I think there's a Can, great argument it, for that. Real quick, and he talked about Connect and his improvements since getting to Tennessee. Adu is that guy that, to me, I mean, Connect is obviously world-beating wise, but, but Adu's ability to get the ball in the post, make the right move, yeah. be under control, mm-hmm. be able to get out in ball screen offense offensively, and then ball screen defense, which so many teams are running these days, being a rim protector, not getting in a bunch of foul trouble, Adu's been a huge, huge difference maker. Yeah. All right. Jimmy, do you have something? I'll let you finish or no? No, I agree with Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. All right, fellas, thank you very much. When we come back, the Vols are in the running for an SEC title. Of course, you want a conference title. Are you crazy? Sure you want that. They could also get a number one seed in the tournament for the first time ever, which is more important. We'll discuss that coming back on the Sports Source. 